Hey guys, Big Bennis, how you doing? We're back here at Gaia's. I know you're probably tired of seeing it, but um, <laughs> here we are. We're using the VRX 2000 D Class. Well, maybe not yet, but uh, let's hook it up here. Let's throw it on there, all right? There it is. All right. So yeah, hitting this area a lot uh, lately. Sticking, sticking with Cali. Um, this whole Chinook Valley, I've been just kind of wailing on um, basically getting a bunch of canarium redulite uh, stuff like that and I'm really trying to make a go out of it make a decent run um, basically I want to see you know how uh, using the VRX impacts the rare finds or the rare ores I should say not that canarium is really that rare um, you know you can get it like an F105 um, I don't know how rare Regulite is anymore either, but, you know, in the 300%, 350% range, so, the markup of those two particular ores. Um, so I'm, I'm seeing the impact of that, mining really for rares, uh, I do get them quite frequently using the D-Class, uh, amps, which I'm hoping to show you guys, as, you know, I talk about it. But, a uh, decent hit rate, 3 for 3 right now. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get some sparkles this round. So, yeah, I've been finding amples. Um, some good some good size claims of Canarium and Redulite in, in the Chinook Valley, Valley. Which we, you know, we knew all along that it's been here. So, um, it's a different pace. It's a different pace from Rocktropia, Running Hill. Uh, I'm still doing a, still doing a quite a bit of a clip here. On Calypso, probably about four to five k weekly uh, rotation, uh, which I, I really didn't want to do, but I'm finding that I kind of am um, in a way uh, using the D classes. You know, doing that rotation in Hell, I was using level fives, so. But then again, I was doing more like 10k. So we'll see. Um, no rugga, so to speak, just yet. Uh, not recently, anyway. It's been. Uh, been quite a while, a month or so. I think it's my last rugga. So another gaz there. So a couple of gazes we have to belk. Some uh, some good finds. So nothing to complain about. Um, my markup in the last video. I have to apologize, guys. I was kind of way the hell off there. Um, gaz was actually down near like 112 percent, and now it's it's about a. Um, about 114 uh, percent. Same with Belk. Belk is like well, I think it's about 118 now. So and I think I was saying it was like 122 or some shit like that. But yeah. So what happened was is um, I had that video recorded for a couple days before I put it out. I had some family issues, a, a dramatic loss and change in the uh, the family here. So going through tough times. I was kind of depending on going. And using some old videos and uh, that one just happened to be there it just happened to be a little informationally incorrect so but and you have to expect that with a game like this too it's I mean I go back and I look at some of my videos from a year ago because I've been doing this now over a year uh, actually yeah a year and some months now uh, it's it's funny to, to hear me talk about some of the stuff because it's just way out there <laughs> A year later, things have changed so much. Resource spawns have changed around. Markup is completely different. Oh man, it's a different game. Which you know kind of brings me uh, to my point here. You know, you really have to adapt. Uh, that's pretty much the focus of this video. If I could stay with the focus, I know it's like ADD with me lately. Um, adaptability, and which is kind of what I'm doing right now. You know, I did spend a considerable time in hell, but you know, is that the only mining out there? No. Um, you know, I've, I've done the rare video before. Uh, it wasn't my greatest show, but it's there. Um, and I do like this type of mining. I do like going for the big the big numbers. That's ample gas. And I hope, I hope to show you guys uh, Canarium or Ready Light. But I mean, you know, come out to Chinook. Find it for yourself. Uh, it's here. So, 
Yeah, you know, adapting. Right now, I'm trying to adapt uh, back to Calypso just to see if there is something here. Uh, really worth going for it. You know, people have been putting it down lately, including me. I'm probably the biggest person for this. You know, I'm always, always saying to everybody, everybody that asks me, oh, either go to Arcadia for in matter or go to Rocktropia for, for uh, ores. You know, that's it. That's that's your game plan. There's there's no other plan involved. So, um, hopefully, I can prove myself wrong here. Um, for people that are a little bit more experienced, that are, you know, level 40 plus, that can use the VRX series, or even the TK320, the later TK with maybe some depth enhancers. You know, can you break 130, 140% mining Calypso in certain areas over a period of time? Well, that's what I'm hoping to find out. And obviously, if I find out that you could do that, then I will probably be doing this quite often. Obviously, it's been working for this week. But I don't consider a week a long time in Entropia, not at all. Um, really, for a month or so, I want to hit it and see what happens. So, you know, we're near my hell mining, but <laughs> we'll get there. We'll see if Canarium and Redulite could carry us through um, slow periods and, and, uh, hard, and hard finds, basically. Uh, the other day, uh, I've had a uh, a period where I didn't find any canary or red light. In fact, it was a day or two after the last video that I put out, and uh, and I just stopped. I didn't I didn't mine anything. The next day I came back and boom, what did I hit? I hit canarium, I hit regulite, I had break even and even small profit runs using a D class amp. In areas that I probably should have lost money in, um, like over four or five hours of play. So uh, I think it's it's pretty feasible, and we'll see. We will see what happens. So, in other news, I uh, kind of had a real life hoff today. <laughs> you know, I've mentioned in a video before that I'm a metal detector. I go out on a metal detect, you know, one of those funny guys with the big rod and big headphones out on the beach metal detecting. Well, I'm fortunate enough to live in a community where I have uh, a couple beaches basically on a lake. And, uh, I metal detect the area often amongst other areas, you know, sometimes I go to the Jersey Shore metal detect down there and do whatever, you know. Um, today I found a gold ring. 14 carat. I'm not sure how many grams, but it is a nice chunky ring. Isn't it? You know, right now it's about 55 a gram for gold. At you know, at like uh, what is it? 24 carat, which is super pure, I think. Maybe not. I, I'm probably way off. But it's 14 k so it's not worth 55 a gram. So I estimate uh, probably three or four hundred USD. It's a it's a nice solid gold ring, man. It was an awesome find. And let's just scoot over here because I'm just kind of skirting the same area I was. So I love seeing the, the claim markers on the mini map right there. Nice thing about this LA too is that it's a four percent tax rate, which I just hovered there and found out. So it's my second gold find of the year. And as a person that, you know, does metal detect, it's uh, it's really the holy grail of metal detecting. You're out there to find silver and gold, really. Um, you know, unfortunately here in the U.S., uh, coins, dollar coins, aren't popular at all. We have them, but nobody ever uses them. They're more of a novelty item. Um, I know places like Australia, because I talked to a couple of Australian metal detectors over metal detecting forum, and... Uh, you know, they could walk home 20, 30 bucks. <laughs> I'm struggling to find two or three bucks and change, but the gold is uh, the gold's where it at is where it's at. So it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. You get a lot of crazy looks metal detecting. You know, real life treasure hunting, real life mining. So people are, you know, they're intrigued, but yet they're scared at the same time. So it's a, it's kind of a funny, it's a funny little hobby. You know, kids love you. They go run up to you and 
Oh, what are you digging up? What are you digging up? And of course, you really don't want to tell him because what if it's a golden necklace or something? And you really don't want people to know what you find until <laughs> you're home and it's in a safe spot, so. Alright. Considerable gas. We'll see what happens here. I think we got a few more drops, guys. I'm hoping to really just. Yeah, a few more. Um. I had a bunch of questions uh, recently regarding, you know, Entropia. Uh, one is, do you always stay within the, the lines here? You know, do you always stay in the LAs? No, I don't. Uh, especially the Chinook area. Actually, the other night I hit a substantial... Hold on, let me center here. Um, another considerable gas. Good hit rate. Uh, I've had a substantial... Actually, right to the right of Mr. Z's. It wasn't even an attacked LA, which was freaking fabulous. Something like 170 pet, I think it was. It was a gas. So, I, I mean, I, I really don't. We'll leave it right now. We'll see if things change. We'll head a little south. But we didn't hit any freaking canary armor red light yet. Just sad. But we're not done, so. No, nothing there. Um. Anything new in Calypso? There's not much going on, guys. Um, there's not too much going on at all, actually, in Entropia right now. There's not too many events that I know of going on. Nothing really... Uh, nothing newsworthy, I'll say. But, uh, speaking of newsworthy, I've... Right, let's see what happens here. Nothing. <laughs> I have uh, been accepted at the uh, Planet Calypso Forum newsroom for the, their news team. Spoke with uh, Serica, and uh, we're hoping to maybe do some live streams of events and stuff to put on the front page of Planet Calypso Forum. And you guys are probably like, what? A, a pig? You, you're like, you hate Planet Calypso Forum. And I'm like, well, you know, what kind of hypocrite would I be if, if I sat here and not necessarily complain about them, but pointed out a couple key features that I think I've gone wrong there without trying to help them, you know? So, that's that's where I'm getting at with that. I think, uh, you know, try to, try to help them out, give quality news when it happens, uh, just to refresh the front page, yeah, help the news team. Um, you know, it looks as though they got a really great news team bunch of good players so and you know it'll help help out the community my problem with playing clips of forum is for a period of time there there was uh, minimal moderation and it seems as though uh, 7-eleven neo maven has breathed some new life into the moderation staff and uh, it seems as though they're getting a bunch of that under control. In no way, shape, or form do I, you know, hate Planet Eclipso Forum. I, I'm just not a forum person myself. I, you know, I haven't really been active on that forum since 2006, 2007. I peek my head in from time to time, check out the hop board and whatnot, but that's about it. God damn it, guys. We're not getting shit now. Of course, as soon as I said, oh, hit rate's good, nope. Look at my freaking guildy down there, Tor, Tor. Not only did she get a 20k level 2 amp the other day, like a couple days later she got 13k, and then like a day or two later she got nearly a, a 4k. It was like 3.6k. She's hitting it again. She's hitting those level 2s again. She may, uh, she may all-time high, who knows? Let's see. How we doing here? Let's let's check. Uh, one, two. <laughs> of course, I got I have pet there. I'm trying not to show my pet card balance in the uh, in the video, but you can see I got 400 pet there and a bunch in the bank. It's a little uh, little tip for anybody wanting to do YouTube videos of Entropia. Don't show your pet balance ever. It's a curse. I kid you not, I've had so many problems in the last couple of weeks. Um, 
primarily after I hit the 28k Vita zone, I wasn't very smart about it. And I uh, basically had my pet balance for everybody to see. And uh, that was a, a grand mistake that I will never <laughs> make again. So. And if you are trying to buy the Entropia Mining Guide, and I want to, you know, thank whomever it is that pointed that out to me the other day, you know who you are, and I know who you are. Um, contact me first. Contact me through YouTube. Uh, contact me through pigbenishaterade at gmail.com or, or something else. Um, I just I just don't accept friend requests anymore in game unless, you know, I talk to you first. You know, security issues and, and stuff like that. So, and if you do contact me and if, if I don't get back to you right away, just, just wait. Seriously, just wait 10-15 minutes. Chances are I'm, I'm talking to a, a couple people. So, it's not that I'm being a dick to you. I'm not. I'm not being a dick, you know. I'm not a, you know, a be a dick quit first and then be a dick first and ask questions later. No. So I'm pr probably busy. Or actually, I'm probably away from AFK. AFK. God damn it. I'm just freaking jumbling my words there. God, man. We need to get something here. Although, we've had quite a bit of considerable, so. Let's see what we can finish up with here. Hopefully, uh, maybe a canarium. You know what actually surprised me is after that last video, I, I did another video, or no, I didn't, I'm sorry, I did another run right after that video, and out comes Ready Light Canarium and a good amount of Derulium. I was actually quite surprised how much Derulium I found um, on Calypso that night. We're talking amples and considerables, so there's an ample belk, a little choke up there. A little entropia lag. What's that put us at? Good amount of claims, guys. I'm not. I don't know if we're break even yet, but um, we gotta be certainly close. Unfortunately, it's gonna be runs like this that you don't global on, or that you don't uh, find the high markup ores that are gonna kind of ruin my uh, my test here. Um, and I am going to count this video on my test. Sometimes I don't because I just go with the flow. It's just kind of like, all right, let's do a video here. Put something out, chat about something. Hopefully it's informational and hopefully you guys can walk away with something. But, you know, you, you do those videos. Like, you, I, I do a bunch of informational videos. And then, you know, you kind of have to have a little filler, a little fluff, fill something in talking about metal detecting real life treasure hunting you know what also I I do in real life is uh, storage auctions too with my father it's a lot of fun actually um, it's interesting it's it's actually pretty close to storage wars that you see on TV it's actually very close to to that the amount of stuff these people leave in their lockers is absolutely amazing and I've seen some absolutely horrifying lockers and I've seen some lockers that are just incredible um, I went to an auction earlier this year in the spring there was an actual storage unit with a copy machine in it a Xerox machine uh, two tube amps two guitar tube amps I, I don't know I don't remember if they're Gibson or Fender or I, I honestly I don't know the name. I'm sure they're worth a couple hundred. And uh, there was two guitars and two guitars and amongst you know bags of probably clothing and garbage and crap. But if you guys are European and you don't know what I'm talking about, it's, Storage of Wars is a huge show in America right now. I guess you could say I'm not sure if it's really gone international. I have no idea. But uh. People can't pay their bills, and they don't respond to any sort of communication. They, they put them up for auction, and it's uh, it's interesting what some people save. Although about I would say about sixty or seventy percent of the lockers have a ton of porn in it. <laughs> it's the, the grim reality of 
humanities. Oh man. Alright guys, we gotta be getting close here. Uh, I think one more, two more after this. And we're walking home with uh, with a bunch of claims. It's hard it's gonna be hard to say. I think what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll put a notation in the description on what this run costs and if if I even broke even on it, because I think it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be pretty damn close. I really gets like one more claim. How much we got? Alright, I think we got two drops out of that. Let's head a little bit north. See what happens. We're already over 20 minutes right now, so. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully this test works out. Hopefully, you know, in a couple weeks I could be like, alright, Chinook area, as long as you hit Canarium and Regulite, you know, 20% of your runs or 10% of your runs or whatever it's going to come out to be, um, then you should be able to average such and such markup, and this amp will be good within that markup range, so. Little, uh, little Sochmate Global there. Alright, come on. Alright, this is the final one, guys. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Modest as we're right. Alright, guys. That's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next vid, and hopefully uh, I'll get a bunch out this week, and we'll, we'll try to get back to the uh, regularly scheduled program. And uh, thanks for watching. See ya.